Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side over to the other side. One more stretch and now let's sing together. Good morning dear earth, good morning dear sun, good morning dear rocks and flowers everyone. Good morning dear beast and birds in the trees, Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I hope that you're having a great day so far. We have three things to do before we get started on the calendar and weather chart. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Number two, we need to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin, so I'm going to button them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. And now, let's go over the date together. Right up here is the month. Do you know what the month is? September, that's right. Today is September. 22nd. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was September 21st and today is September 22nd and the year is 2021 but you can also say 2021. The month of September is almost over so let's take out our counting fingers and see how many days are left in the month. Give them a little stretch to warm them up. Are you ready to count with me? After today, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight more days left in the month of September. If you keep your eight fingers up like this, but you put one finger away, now you have seven fingers, and we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the Days of the Week. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. If you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was t Tuesday. That means that today is w Wednesday. Tomorrow will be s Thursday. Let's sing today is Wednesday together. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Up, up, up here, we have a brand new season, friends. Yesterday, we said goodbye to the summertime, and today, we have to say hello to a brand new season. It's fall. Today is the first day of fall. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together. Then we can talk about what you see outside of your window. Maybe it's starting to feel and look like fall outside where you live. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, the rain is falling. When I look outside, the sky is white with clouds and there's a light rain called a drizzle. 
my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm. Warm and rainy today. What about you, friends? Is it starting to feel like fall outside at your house, or is it still warm out? What do you see outside? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter of the week. This week, we have been talking about this capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. Ooh. And what letter is this? L. You're right. This is an uppercase or capital L. L says ooh. So I have something today. It's actually too big to fit inside of the letter box, but it's right here in front of me. Here's your first clue, and you can take a guess if you know what it is. It's something that starts with the letter L. L. This is a place that you go to. It's usually in a building, and it has lots and lots of books that you can borrow. What is that place called? A library. So I love to take my sons to the library. They like to take out lots and lots of books. I also like to borrow books from the library. Library starts with the letter L. L. Do you go to the library? This is how you write an uppercase L. L. One more time. Here's the number of the week. What double digit number is this? 17, that's right. Friends, when you write the number 17, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? One, and after the number one, you write this number. Seven, one, seven, 17. Let's count the number 17 together using the large bead frame. Today we're going to count to the number 17 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 110, seven units, 17. Now let's open up the number box and see what we have to count today. I have these small rocks called pebbles. I have quite a lot of them, so I'm going to make two rows. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and one more makes seventeen. Seventeen pebbles. This week we've been saying grass in sign language. Will you show me how to do that? You take one of your hands and you tap the bottom of your palm to your chin, like this. Grass. Today we're going to be talking about patterns because later on for our work, we will be creating our own patterns using materials from outside. So let's take a step back. What is a pattern? Have you ever heard of that before? A pattern is when two or more things repeat themselves. Patterns can be found anywhere, on the floor, on clothing, even in nature. So let's take a look at this dress that I'm wearing. Do you notice any patterns? Hmm. Well, I notice two colors that are repeating themselves, black and white. So that means that the pattern is black, white. Black, white, black, white. 
black and white are repeating themselves and taking turns. Now that we know what a pattern is, let's make our own. For today's work, we are going to be creating our own patterns using organic material from outside. So right here I have a pile of pine cones and in my second pile I have some acorn tops. For my pattern, I'm going to start off by using one acorn. And next, I'm going to put an acorn top. So, so far, I have pine cone, acorn. Next would come the pine cone. Pine cone, acorn, pine cone, now we need another acorn. Pine cone, acorn. Pine cone, acorn. Next comes the pine cone, followed by an acorn. Pine cone, acorn, pine cone, acorn, pine cone, acorn. If you are ready to move on to more complicated patterns, you can introduce a third material or you can just stick with the two and create a pattern like this. Pine cone, pine cone, acorn. Pine cone, pine cone, acorn. Let's scooch this over so we can continue the pattern. Pine cone, pine cone, acorn. Pine cone, pine cone, acorn. Next comes two pine cones followed by one acorn. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Because today is the first day of fall, let's sing a special song together. It goes like this. All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down. Welcome fall. Do you want to sing that with me one more time? Take your fingers and you can make them leaves that are floating down. All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down. Welcome fall. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.